It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video. This is going to be my things you may have missed and Easter eggs for 710, which was called New Best Friends. So the first point, Daryl got a new crossbow, of course, but for people who don't know, this is actually the third crossbow Daryl has had. He lost his first one after the prison, then he got one from where Morgan was, back in the building Morgan was in. He got one of the crossbows from there, which was the second crossbow which was taken by Dwight and now he has his third crossbow. So this is the third crossbow Daryl has had in The Walking Dead. The next thing we have here, these two people from the junkyard, the male's name is Brion and the female's name is Tamil. Now there's two things here, one for Brion, he was actually the one that we've been hearing a lot from spoiler communities about this new junkyard group and it seems like he's actually not the leader of this community he's just one of the elders from the community you can say and in terms of Tamil, Tamil is actually the person with the mysterious boots so in Talking Dead it was revealed that Tamil is actually the female with the mysterious boots that was following both Rick and Aaron from the boat area and was spying at Alexandria and the one that forced Father Gabriel to pack all the stuff and took him to this junkyard area. The next thing we have, when we get this shot from the junkyard pit, there's the car that's in the bottom left corner. That's actually the same car that Father Gabriel was driving. So this is the same vehicle from Alexandria. Then the next thing, when Rick is talking to Jadis, the leader of this new community, about joining them in the war, he uses similar phrases to what he used when he was talking to Ezekiel. Join us, join us in fighting, which was pretty interesting. So it seems like Rick has like a speech that he's giving everyone. I'm pretty sure he gave a similar speech to Gregory as well back at the hilltop. But it's funny how Rick has like a speech prepared and he gives the speech to anyone he comes across who has a big community. The next thing that I found, which is pretty funny to be honest, when Gabriel is saying, anyone come close, I'm gonna kill her, there's no way he can actually kill her because the knife is backwards. Gabriel is not holding the knife right. I don't know if that's because he doesn't know how to use a knife or because he's just threatening them, but he's not gonna act on it. I'm pretty sure it's the second case, but it's pretty cool regardless. And it's just one of those things that is pretty funny when you actually notice it. You might not notice it the first time, but when you notice it, it's actually pretty funny. The next thing, the gladiator walker that Rick had to deal with or had to kill is actually officially named Winslow. So in talking that they said that this walker's name is Winslow. So that's pretty cool as well. Then the next point we have, when Rick first fell into this pit, when he was getting up, he stepped on some sort of skeleton that's actually possibly one of the previous victims of Winslow. So it's probably someone that got pushed down the pit previously and didn't survive. So that's pretty cool as well. Then I don't know if anyone noticed, I'm pretty sure most of you noticed, but when Rick was killing the walker or Winslow, he actually cut the walker's head off. He actually cut Winslow's head and decapitated the walker and threw it down but we actually never got to see that. But if you take a look at this shot, you can clearly see the head right there in the center of the pit area. After Rick climbs the rope, comes up to the up, 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 as Jadis likes to call it, there's this thing in the background that just flies out. Some people are saying it's a plane, helicopter, UFO, but no, that's actually a glitch because this whole thing, this shot right here was a green screen. So I'm pretty sure something went wrong when they were doing it and in the background you see this anomaly but it's actually nothing it's just a glitch that they had when they used the green screen effect i was actually tempted to do a standalone video about this but i thought that there's really not much in it to create a standalone video for it there are some other youtubers i'm not going to name names but they actually did make a video just on this which i think it's pretty useless because this topic it's just so ridiculous that you shouldn't really dedicate an entire video to it but yeah so the next thing Rick's wounds in this episode one on his hand and one on his knee is actually a direct callback or a 
homage to Rick's current physical shape in the comic book. Because in the comic book, Rick right now has lost his hand and his knee is all messed up. So this right here is homage to Rick's physical shape in the comic book. So that's cool as well. Then Rick tells Tara, you've been out the furthest. You know more about what's out there more than us. You'll be able to help us know where not to look when they're looking for weapons. It's actually a hint at what's to come because of course Terra knows about the ocean side and it's like a hint or foreshadowing of what's to come in the future because this links to whether or not Terra is actually going to tell them about the ocean side or not. And then the last thing we have Daryl and Shiva which was a pretty cool sequence but I thought there was a lot of symbolism in this specific sequence because if you remember back in season 7 episode 1 we have Daryl being put into the back of the truck and he's moving around like he's an animal in a cage and in a similar fashion we have Shiva who's an animal in a cage but Daryl was able to get out he was able to find his way out of that cell or being trapped by escaping the sanctuary and it seems like now he's looking at not just Shiva or the tiger but he's looking at himself in the past or in the recent past how he was stuck in a cell as well and he's looking at that as a wake-up call and as a push to get him to want to fight because before this he was just waiting around but now it seems like he's going to do stuff for himself because right after he says I'm going to the hilltop to get people ready so it seems like seeing Shiva in that cage kind of gave Daryl the push he needed to do what he needs to do to get everyone ready for this war that's going to be coming up so I thought that was pretty cool as well that's it for this video thanks for watching I'll be back for another video